Hello RDA family and specifically Victoria because I'm going to be talking about the Victorian election because there are some things that are really confusing me and I want to tell you what, what I'm thinking and, and maybe you've got some feedback for me. I'm going to read the comments on YouTube, on Telegram, on Instagram um, to see what you guys think. Uh, two things, specific things I'm going to talk about is one, um, the Liberals, <laughs> their campaign, um, I've got to talk about that first. And secondly, I want to talk about Daniel Andrews' lack of campaigning. Really concerns me and it's weird, I think. Um, firstly, I got this email from Matthew Guy because I, I used to be a liberal subscriber like five years ago, <clears throat> like many of us. And every single dot point in this email, every single one of them is speaking directly to me and to you for that matter. Like every single one of them is anti-lockdown, anti-mandate, anti um anti everything that we agree with and i think it's really weird because it's like have they done the market research and realized that actually we are the majority and that's where they're going to get their votes i'm not going to vote for them it's a bit too late why are they now appealing to us do they do they not realize that we felt let down by them have they not or have they done the research and realized they made a mistake and now they're trying to make up for it well where's the apology like they they posted photos of themselves getting jabbed, um, wearing masks, you know, all this sort of stuff. Um, they didn't stand up for, for us when we were getting arrested, shot at, uh, pepper sprayed, things like that. They didn't say anything from what I understand. Um, yes, they voted against the pandemic bills. They um, voted against some of the emergency bills. So in that, in that way, when push comes to shove, they at least voted in the, in the right way there. But <clears throat> you can't now hero free speech. When you could have used your speech to protect our free speech, you could, they could have created a lot more pressure for Daniel Andrews by using their mainstream media, um, you know, reach and things like that. The Liberals could have. Now, some did, obviously. We've got Gerard Rennick, Alex Antic, but they're not Victoria State, you know. There was, um, I think there was only Neil Angus who actually didn't get the jab, which is nothing about that, but he made a stand by not doing it. There was also a guy, Broadbent, in Warrigal who also didn't take it. Um, again, it's not about them taking it or not taking it. It's just that they at least made a stance. They, But they didn't really use their voice to speak up for us either. And now Matthew Guy is like, oh yeah, we're the heroes of free speech. Well, where the hell were you, mate? Like, where the hell were you? You know, when I was in prison, you should have made a point of that. But of course, it took cross benches and, you know, disgruntled or kicked out liberals to say anything about it. I'm just using that as an example. When when Matthew Lawson was shot in the back, shot three times with rubber bullets, you should have said something. And you can't just now pretend like you care. So I'm going to read these dot points and you can follow the link in the description to read them yourself or um, to watch his video. So we will guarantee no more lockdowns, okay? You didn't complain about them when we had them, actually. Not really. You, they complained about aspects of it, but they didn't really complain enough. Uh, we will prevent Victorians being locked in their state ever again. Well, yeah. We will enshrine the right to free speech and democratic freedoms like the right to protest. Bit late, buddy. Why weren't, the, why weren't you there with us? You know, like other people like David Limbrick and Morgan Jonas from other parties. Bernie Finn even came to one of them. Why, but why weren't you there, Matthew? If you really care about us protesting, why weren't you there? question. We will hold a Royal Commission into the handling of COVID-19. Yep. We will ensure all health advice related to decision making is released for everyone to see. Shock horror should be an obvious thing. But anyway, we will amend the Victorian Constitution Act to limit a state of emergency or state of disaster declaration to only 30 days. A state of emergency is already supposed to be 30 days, um, but they changed that, didn't they? And we'll, uh, we'll repeal Daniel Andrews 2021 pandemic legislation. So every single dot point is actually aimed at the freedom movement, which is, I find weird. And I will say, um, for the record, I'm going to be voting in the upper house one to five below the line, one to five being the minimum, so that my preferences don't go anywhere unless I tell them to go there. So I'll be teaching you guys more about that. But I'm going to put all the freedom parties first, but I... I now am going to put the Liberal Party last um, because if 
if let's say there's five freedom parties and none of them get in, I do want my vote to go to Liberals instead of Labor. And what, well, it wouldn't go to Labor, but if it ends up in the bin, then it's more or less a vote for Labor because it cancels out my vote and puts in a Labor vote. So I will be probably, I think from, from what I know now, there's five parties, freedom parties, I'll be putting one to six and I'll put Liberals last because I think um, we still need to vote for Liberal before Labor because they're spineless, you know, they take Christmas photos with selfies with their dog and wearing a mask. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think they're better than Daniel Andrews and I think that you would agree. My second concern is that Daniel Andrews is not campaigning at all. He loves the camera. He loves social media. Where the hell is he? He had an interview with someone recently and he didn't want to talk about politics. It's six weeks out from the election. Why doesn't he want to talk about politics? I feel like he's got some sneaky plan. He's so arrogant. It's like he knows he's going to get in, but I don't know how because there's some really good candidates running in his electorate. There's Ian Cook, who has a ton of support. There's Aidan McClendon from Freedom Party. Those are the only two lower house candidates. There is a liberal as well. But why isn't he campaigning? It, it's, it's a concern to me, to be honest. But anyway, these are just my thoughts, guys, at the moment. I, I, can, can you put some comments in? I, I want to see what you think about these two things. Will you put liberal last under the line? One to six, put liberal last. Um, do you believe what Matthew Guy is saying? Do you think he really stands for these values? Maybe, maybe he does stand for these values, but he didn't have the guts to say anything when we needed him to. I just don't really know. It's confusing. What do you guys think? See ya.